Okay. Exhibit A. Oh shit. That's crazy. <sighs> Does that look like me? Oh, that's crazy. That's a good picture. Crazy. How does that make you feel when you see something? Like, oh, that's what I'm I don't know. It's like, um, like I don't ever remember, like, not having tattoos or marks or scars or shit. You know? That's that's pretty good right there. Pretty good. What do you think, man? You think it's good? Yeah, but I'm still not going to no laser and getting them off a little bit. That shit hurts. <laughs> is, that, is that why? Yeah. Yeah, it hurts, hurt, man. Like, it's not worth all that pain. That'll take, like, it'll take, like, what, years, huh? To remove all my tattoos? That should take. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'll get them all. Anymore. Just all the gang tattoos, like, on my face and my hands. That's what I'm doing right now. I don't know. It doesn't look like me. I feel naked. <laughs> it looks like I'm naked, like my well, obviously. I no shirt, but like I don't know, like it doesn't I don't know, it feels weird. Like it doesn't look like you know what I mean? That's what it looks like. It's like I got an evil twin or something. I was cloned. I'm from La Puente. Yeah. Well my family's like from like all over pretty much. I have a sister. I have a younger sister. But I, I really, I really don't know my sister because I wasn't there. Like, I didn't grow up with her. I grew up with her when she was like a baby, till I was like 13. Then I started going to jail. And that was it. And then my mom left California. So I got, I ended up like stuck in the system, like group homes, placement, all that. And it just kept growing and growing. Like every time I got out, I, I always went back, did the same things. This is like the first time that I haven't went back to like old old habits, you know what I mean? As far as like, you know, gang banging and coming out here like robbing, stealing, like, I haven't had to do none of that. So that's like, I don't know how you would say it. It's weird, you know, like, it's the longest I've ever been out. I've been out of prison for 13 months. I don't know, I just got tired of it, like, I got tired of like, it's the same shit every day, like, Nothing changes. It's like you start becoming like you start feeling like <clears throat> like you're a robot or something. You know what I mean? Because nothing ever changes. The program stays the same. You know everybody that's there. You know? Well, I mean, I don't know how it is for other people because my mine's a little different. You know I, mean? I just did twelve years, and my last six years I was in the shoe. So like when you're in the shoe, people get this like you know I say twenty three and one like. You stay locked down 23 hours and you come out one hour. It's not like that over there. You stay locked, you stay in your cell for days till you come out. And then when you come out, you're like, you're all, you're like all shackled down like an animal, like fear an animal, you know what I mean? I didn't, that's the one thing I didn't like. I, I felt like, I don't know, I don't like being like, like handcuffed, shackles, waist chain, all, all that shit, just to walk from like here to the bathroom. I, Anytime I come out of my cell, they have to shackle you down and take you out. Like, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of sad, you know? That's when it, it started hitting me. Like, every time, like, when my girl would come to visit me, like, every time, like, that walk, like, I just, I don't know. I didn't feel the same way I used to feel, like, before, you know? The first thing I gained was patience. And, like. I don't know. It's like I haven't had to to put hands on nobody. Like I haven't had to to hurt anybody since I've been out. Like that's never happened before, dude. Like 
it's just, I don't know. It's weird. It's like, it's like a weird feeling, you know? And homeboys, oh, if I great change my life, like, I don't know. There's no, like, I don't even think there's a word. Like, that man, that's a good man right there. Like, he, he sees, like, he sees good, goodness and, like, and the worst people. You know what I mean? Like, who can do that? So it's like, it's a good guy right there. It's just every day, like, every day, I gotta take it one day. I can't take it weeks. Like, I used to think, like, I would have to take it weeks. Like, you gotta do it one day at a time. But see, I can't sit here and tell you that, that I've done all this on my own because I haven't. I mean, I've done it, but it's because of the tools I had, you know? Like, Homeboy Industries, my girl, like, everybody that's positive in my life. They've helped me. Like, they didn't give up. So that's a good feeling when somebody doesn't give up on you. It's like, it's always going to be loyalty right there. You know? I know my grandma's proud of me. Like, especially when I don't call her all the time, I ask her for money. <laughs> but she's, I know she's the proudest one. And she's the one that I, that I really want to make, you know, as far as like probably like, because I really didn't have no family, you know, like all the times in prison, I mean, they didn't take care of me or they didn't, you know, ride or visit or, or nothing, you know. The only one that was there was my grandma and my girl. That was like, that was it. So the least I could do is stay out, catch no cases, go to work, do what I got to do as a man, you know, responsibilities. I know, like, so, like, when I come home, so, like, I'm an asshole. And I know I'm an asshole when I wake up in the morning, like, that's just me, you know? Like, it's because I'm not used to, I'm not, I'm still not used to this shit, you know? I'm still waiting for, for something bad to happen. You know what I mean? Because I've never been out of jail this long. Like, I have anxiety, like, I, you know, and then, like, I get stressed out on, like, stupid shit. Like, stupid shit, I get all stressed out. And I feel my blood pressure right, like, I... And then, like, it takes me a minute, I'll start thinking about, like, damn. And then, that's when I realize things, but I don't know. I love my job, like, I'm just tired right now, but I love my job, like, it's not even a job to me. It's like going, like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain it. But it's like a family. It's still a process. I've only, got, I've only been at home base for, what, six months. Man, to be honest with you, just staying out, that's like my, that's my only thing, you know? Like anything else after that is a plus to me. My thing is staying out of prison and not going back. That's my thing. That's a, well, my dream. But I don't think I'll go back. I don't, I really like, I don't know, it's weird. I'm too tired to go back. <laughs> if, as long as I got a job, like, man, there's nothing else to do. Go to work, come home, you know what I mean? Like, what else is there to do? Eat? <laughs> I know, I already gained a gang weight since I've been out. Well, that's a lot, that's a majority of like the dudes that, that get out of prison or whatever, and they're all tied down, it's, it's one, it's like a story. You know what I mean? But only he could tell you that, you know? Like, you're not going to be able to sit there and, like, watch it. <laughs> or read it or look at it, you know what I mean? My dad was a gang member, too. Drug guy. He was never there for for me or nothing. I think I was, like, I think I was 11. I think that was the last time I seen him. It's no life for, for a kid, you know? It's no life. So I'm just happy, like, my son, like, I have a 17-year-old boy, and... He's in a group home, he has autism and Asperger's and he don't, like, he don't got no gang attire, he don't got none of that, like, he's not into none of that stuff, you know what I mean, which is, uh, I'm lucky. To me, I think I'm lucky, you know? Yeah, he looks up to me, but I think he's sad because he's in a group home and I can't take him, you know? Like, he's never, he's never been with his dad, like, I, the last time I seen him, he was four and a half, and I was only with him for, like, 
80 days, you know? I was only out 80 days. And that was the last time I seen him. So I seen him in 2011, he was like 15. I talked to him almost every day, not every day he calls. He's doing good, he's doing good in the school. Like he's gotten a lot better, like <clears throat> as far as like his behavior and his schooling and all that. He's gotten, a, he's, he's like flipped before, since I got out. When I wasn't out, like he was fighting with kids. Like he was acting up, he got kicked out of another one. Like he was acting up, but now that I've been out, like he's been doing good. You know what I mean? Like, I made it like a 360. So like, I think if they see this one, like if you ask them, hey, if this man walked up to you, would you talk to him? If they showed him this picture, they'd probably say no. If they showed him this picture, they'd probably say yeah. Because of the tattoos. That's that's the first thing I think of. No. What do you want them to say? Hello? Or excuse me, or something, you know? To acknowledge you're there. I have everything I have because of the people that help me, because of homeboys mostly, and obtaining tools like in meetings, like, you know, meeting other people. So, it's good though. I'd rather be out here than in there, I'll tell you that much though. The food's better. <laughs>